The Caliburn A2 is the new and improved version of the original UL Caliburn. In this video, we show how to fix some issues you might run into. The A2 comes with two 0.9 ohm pods. To fill the pod, place it into the battery and snap the black mouthpiece away from you, exposing the fill hole, which is marked with a red ring. Place the nib of your e-liquid and fill. The A2 comes with an e-liquid level window. UL recommends refilling the pod when your e-liquid level falls below the minimum line. You can continue to use your device below this level, but you are more likely to experience dry hits or shorten the life of your coil. Caliburn A2 pods tend to last between 1-2 to two weeks, but this depends on use. The most common sign that your pod needs changing is a slightly burnt taste. Other signs are that you can find it difficult to inhale. This can be an indication that the coil is oversaturated. The Caliburn provides great flavour which can mask this quite well, but when the flavour is noticeably less pleasant, you should replace the pod. From time to time after filling or refilling your pod, you might experience some spitting when you vape. To help prevent this, take a tissue and place it over the mouthpiece. Holding the tissue to the mouthpiece, flick your vape downwards hard, allowing any excess e-liquid to come out onto the tissue. Do this a few times till no more liquid appears. If the LED light is illuminated when you draw, but no vapour is produced, this suggests a connectivity issue. First, you should turn off your device with five button clicks and remove the pod. At the bottom of the slot where the pod was, check for e-liquid. If there is liquid or residue, this can interfere with the connection between the pod and gold connectors. Use a piece of tissue or a cotton wool swab to absorb any liquid and then try vaping again. If the LED light does not illuminate when you draw, try using the alternative activation mode, either by inhaling or pressing the button. If your A2 flashes a blue LED light when using, this is also a sign that there is a connection issue or a short circuit. Repeat the process as before. It's also worth ensuring that your device is fully charged and you can also try a brand new pod to see if this fixes the problem. If the issue persists when trying a new pod, your device may be faulty. The A2 has a 520 milliamp hour internal battery. Most users find that this lasts a full day before needing to be recharged. If you're a particularly heavy user, you may need to recharge more often. The Caliburn A2 can be fully recharged from empty to full in around one hour. The A2 is built to be leak resistant. Leaks tend to be caused by drawing too hard or from using an unsuitable e-liquid. The device offers a medium tight drawer, which means you shouldn't inhale too hard, as this can cause e-liquid to flood into the mouthpiece or the air holes. Sometimes, if your e-liquid has a very high PG ratio, it can cause it to leak out of the bottom of the pod. PG liquid has a low viscosity, meaning it's very thin. The Caliburn is best suited to 50-50 PG-VG e-liquids, or those with a slightly higher VG ratio. Take care not to leave your pods in direct sunlight or in very warm areas, as this can induce leaking. Thank you for watching our troubleshooting video for the Caliburn A2 device. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe.